seriously, why don't you want to eat? Eating is one of the best pleasure uh, thing in the world. Exactly. Why, why should I stop it? I understand eating uh, less, okay, but, but why won't you want to eat? Right. Now, that's a good question because your ego, which is our physical bodies, hands down, everybody's egotistical. <laughs> and your ego is going to ask you the question, what is this for me? What is the pleasure in it? Even the head might catch the knowledge. That's what happens to people. You know, jump into something and they never complete it because the ego start asking them questions. Is this worth it? Why do we have to do that? So you got to start giving your ego and training it and giving it some good answers it can understand. It's like a child. It wants to know. So your body makes a good servant, but a bad master. That's the way it is. And you want to get back in the driver's seat to really help your body, not beat it up and say, you're going to do this. That's not going to work because it's going to rebel. Y'all going to have to work together as a team now. Now, I know I'm talking like in a second person, like it's this other entity, but in the beginning stages, it is. It's been programmed and it's carrying out the cycle. It's not its fault. So, would you, uh, sorry, would you say the first step is understanding that you are not your body? Right. You're, you're not your body. And your body is your servant. It's your servant. It's a vehicle you're using. However, it has so much, but it's not to be put down even though we say that. Because this is the place you are viewing the whole universe. So it has great importance. There was a time we took this out of spirituality also by saying it. No. Your body, you want to put it back into the in the spirituality. See, the thing about breatharianism, it puts you back into your body. Wow. How, okay, how? Like, um, a lot of people um, say, ground yourself, eat something. Come back to your body, you're so high right now, eat something after you're so high. So how breatharian is coming back to your body? Well, because when a person is getting sick and feel aches and pains all over your body, that means that you're getting kicked out. The, the life force is blocked. There's blockages. You, as a being who's using this as a, as a vehicle, is slowly getting moved out. If you continue that process or that lifestyle, it's going to form into a disease. It's going to get worse. You're getting kicked out even more. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, death is coming in. You got evicted. And that's because energy blockages main thing the energy blockages in the body and they start manifesting because your body is energy also keep in mind everything is energy and all physical matter has an electromagnetic field that's just if we even got computers and technology now where we can see this field within us and everything you put into your body every thought you have the clothes you put in your body on your body uh, affects the energy field even a synergy, how me and you are sitting next to each other, we are picking up each other's energy. We do it everywhere we go. This is really taking place. So even by, uh, like how we say, this puts you back into your body. You were getting kicked out before, but now you're reversing it and saying, wait, when you start getting healthy, remember I said a healthy body is a sexual body? Mm -hmm. Why? Because the blood is flowing, it's circulating. That helps with an erection, in other words. But we're not talking in an ugly way that you go have sex. We're saying it feels back alive. You can feel your feet and stuff again. You're getting back in. Now, what you were saying that a person needs to ground themselves by eating things at times, I understand what you're talking about. That's a person who's, uh, how should I say, there is certain things where your energy could be going really fast that you can't really keep up and you're feeling uncomfortable. Yes, eat something. That's why I'm saying take breatharianism slow to where you can handle each pace, each phase as the energy start rising. In other words, you could go too fast. And that's why people, a lot of people, oh, this always happens, lose a lot of weight. They're basically fasting, starving. And that's not the way to do it either. The body program, if you, like the ATP and the, the, the cells of the body, they feed off of ATP, which is a high energy that comes from the atmosphere. We feed off the sun cycles that brings more of a, a heated solar energy into the body. The lunar cycles. Everything is affecting us. And to show you how close we are with nature, let's just take our pineal gland, for instance, in our head, which they call a third eye. 
when the sun is out in the daytime, it actually secretes serotonin throughout the blood. It didn't ask your permission to say, I'm about to do this now. It does it on its own because the sun activated it. When the moon come out, no matter what cycle is in, this same gland is automatically going to do, put serotonin, melatonin throughout the blood. And that helps to regenerate you and get you back strong again so when you wake up in the morning from a good night's sleep. <laughs> So everything is helping you. You are connected. We all connected to the nature. All connected to it. So breatharianism isn't about eating or not eating. You're reconnecting yourself back with the cycles of nature. Because we've been far off. Why? Because of our ambitions. Too much working. Okay, so, eating so, along. F oh, go ahead. So people will, will say, wait a second. Do you say our nature is not eating? You, you have so many uh, or organs inside of us mm -hmm. that are uh, supposed to all their job is to digest and to so oh is, isn't our nature is to eat well what makes us different than other animals our whole body shows up in nature sort of like my shoulder how it connects uh, to my arm the back got the same thing the dolphin in other words, any, every part in our body, we can see out of nature where it shows up at. But there's one thing we cannot see, and that's our consciousness. There's other things. We got our thumb, of course, that makes us different than other animals that helps out. And also our speech. We make the more uh, sounds than other animals, because that's what basically what uh, language is, sounds. So our communication is very important. <laughs> it's making us human. Very important. It's so important that even the left side of our brain is bigger, more, more so than the right side because it has a language center there. <laughs> Very important. So that's a great thing, learning this language. And dealing with language, I like to bring this up. Dealing with breatharianism, you're learning the language of nature again. Remember I said you're learning more about your biology or what it's doing with the natural forces? And yet you're not talking about the biology of your body. Mm -hmm. but about the consciousness the biology. consciousness right exactly so you're coming back to to the consciousness in the universe uh, nature mm -hmm. and not what we thought is our nature and that's our body exactly right that's our resurrection so yes on one level you do have a intestines and stuff like that you might say well that's for eating food well of course being a breath in you still can swallow bugs riding a motorcycle okay so it's going to get rid of things. Uh, being in a polluted city when the air is fogged up, your skin is actually an organ. It will pick up all of that. It will affect your organ even if you're eating or not eating. So your body is still going to be working at a level getting rid of things. You follow me? So yes, your di digestive system is still going to be working. But not at the level you're using it at right now. You understand? Yeah. Now there's energy going to start flowing up through uh, um, your intestines flowing through the heart, the blood circulation. All of this start coming alive, and when it is up and functioning at 100%, you will see for yourself that, wow, this is amazing. Even though I'm probably not, eat, not eating all together, you know, like some people, I'm on a trail where I know I'm feeling better than I ever have in my life, and I've already broke the standard that what society was given, what it says health's supposed to be. So, we already done that. <laughs> <laughs> so now, if you continue on this path, of course, it's a natural byproduct. It's not a force. It's a natural allowing that would take place. And that's what you'll know in your own. This is why this is a part of a spiritual journey. You'll know when to let go altogether because it'll feel comfortable.